few months ago, I went to the Glamour Kills tour. I went to the matinee show in Chicago. That's when the Wonder Years were playing Suburbia and its whole, which was kind of like watching your favorite film with the commentary on by a brilliant director. And while I was there, I saw this girl wearing a black t-shirt, and I kind of noticed the logo on it. I went to her, and using the same motion you make when you sneeze in your hand, I asked her, did you like seeing Jeff Magnum? I don't want to talk about concerts for a bit. In introduction, I'll probably have more vlogs about concerts and music in general, because I love concerts. I like music. The Glamour Kills tour is one of the most recent concert memories I have, but it's definitely not the best concert memory I've ever had. I saw uh, Andrew Jackson Jihad with Laura Stevenson, Roar, and some other band that I didn't catch their name of. I mean, I remember when uh, AJJ was playing uh, Big Bird, I, I started crying during the intro. Listening to music live and listening to music on your own is totally different experiences, and you just have to adjust to that. But sometimes it's really annoying to adjust to that. I just went to Riot Fest this year. And the first night was Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Brand, The Tossers, and Social Distortion. The Social D was a really interesting experience. The reason why is during Ball and Chain, I remember going into the pit, and it wasn't very violent, but it was very communal. Like, I remember throwing my arms around someone and singing the chorus to Ball and Chain. And that was really cool. Like, I know when I listen to music by myself, it's a very personal experience. Sometimes it's just a distracting experience, it's just something just so that I don't have to listen to my roommate or listen to my parents or listen to the whiny person next to me. But other times it's just a very personal experience, a very one-on-one -on -one experience with the singer, the musicians, everyone in there, and you about a subject. My personal favorite example of this is Searching for a Form of Clarity by Against Me. It's such a personal experience all the way through it. And to be in a, in a situation where you're listening to these songs with other people, it, I don't know, it feels different. But other times, it's like it's destined to be listened to live. It's destined to be listened to with other people so that you can get the full experience. A great example of this is Foxy Sazam. Holy cow, are those guys good. It's like your brain took a 30-minute detour. I saw them at the work tour, so they played a short set. Came back to you and tried to explain what the hell what just happened. It's kind of weird just that comparison between live music and listening to music on a record. This is the community of listening to a social distortion song with a hundred other people or a thousand other people and just listening to uh, Ball and Chain by yourself. Interesting. The puppy was scared off by the guitar. So, yeah. Ah!